Hi, I'm John, and this video is going to walk you through creating a simple render script application. So first we create a new project, call it RS Simple, and just click through next, yeah, next. Make an empty activity, um, leave all the defaults. So Gradle will do its thing and set it up. Now we created two files, activity main.xml and main activity.java. So first we'll go and make the UI. So delete the hello world text field, copy in an image view, delete the layout goofiness and make it match parent. And that's pretty much it. You see the text field. Text field is gone, the image view is here, and it's called image view. So let me just put that in here in the main activity so I'll remember it. And it's an image view. Now it's a very simple activity here. We're creating nothing too complicated. But in your typical real application, it'll probably be many classes and lots of things. But this is just to show you how a simple render script app will look like. So image view, cast it to an image view and find by ID to get the image view. Now that's pretty much it. Um, now let's make some render script stuff now. First I'm gonna have to create a new folder of render script type. New folder, folder render script. Render script folder, there you go. Okay, and pretty much that's it. That's a pretty important step because now you have told Android Studio you're building render script stuff. Now I have to create a new file, call it foo.rs, and now we're in render script. You can see that it says a little blue circle with rs in it is the icon that's to render script. The first two lines of render script will be pretty much boilerplate. A pragma saying version one, there's only one version. Pragma RS Java package name. This package name sets the package name of the wrapper class that will be created. It's useful to have it be the same as the main activity because that way we don't have to have an import statement for it. So the kernel I'm creating here is going to run once for each pixel on the image that I'm going to feed it. The output of the kernel is a uchar4, so it's a vector type of four bytes of unsigned car type. And the kernel is going to have a X and Y input. The way it knows it's a kernel is because you've tagged it with the attribute kernel. So it's underscore, underscore, attribute, underscore, underscore, and then double parentheses kernel. So now I create a, a uchar4 variable called return, and I pass in x for the red, y for the green, x plus y for the blue and 255 for the alpha. And then this method would return it. Okay, so I'm done. i do a build of it. Make project, yeah. And built. So that's all the render script we've written for the day. And now, 
back in the main activity, I'm going to set up everything. I'll create a render script context and create a new instance of the render script. It's called using render script.create and pass it in this, the context. And because we're going to do a, a long running task, we want to do it in a background thread. It's an async task. The task output is going to be bitmap. And in this async task, I'm going to have the on do in background method and the on post execute because we're going to use the post execute to set the bitmap on the image view. So in the do in background, I will create a bitmap. Uh, let's make it a 1080p but sideways because we're going to assume a vertical phone layout and it's 8888 is the config. So we return that image. Now we do the render script allocation. This is the first time we're sort of attaching the, the bitmap to the render script allocation that you can pass to the render script. And now we create this script. And given the script, we will call the for each bar, passing its output, the allocation, and copying the allocation back to the image. The copy tool sort of tells the system, okay, get it back to the bitmap properly. It may or may not involve a transfer. So some things will wrong. Let me fix it. Uh, what's wrong here? Uh, okay, the uh, I did not construct it, so there's no new. So write a new and okay. It looks like it's compiling, um, but wait, I did not actually create that background. Uh, let me go create the background. Background B equal new background B execute. That's it. So everything should work now. And run it. And Yep, it looks like it's going to run. And there we go. It's done. Thank you.